Pluto huenda isikuwe na uwezo wa kupata kustahimili maisha ya bini Adam. Manake ukitazama hakuna kitu chochote cha green, hakuna kitu chochote cha kimaji maji ambacho umeweza kupata pale. Kuonyesha kwamba hii ni vile vile ni kama gas planet ambayo ni kama zingine kama Neptune, kama Saturn, kama Uranus bila, bila shaka yote hizo ni gas planets ambazo haziwezi kusupport human life lakini yale yaliyoko kule labda ni madini madini ambayo lazima yapate kuchunguzwa kama inaweza kuwa na umuhimu wa wote kwa matumizi ya bini Adam. Tuzidi tu kupata pata jinsi picha hizo zinavyoonekana mtazamaji kutoka Pluto. Kamera ilikuwa sharp kweli kweli na ikapata kutupatia picha hizo kwa njia ambayo ni very very clear. Hebu tuzidi kutazama tukisikiza mwenzetu akituelezea huku kitazama wazi ni Pluto na sayari zingine zinaonekana pale kando kando yake. If you and your exploring crew were on the right side of Pluto, you might see Charon in all its glory, Pluto's largest moon that is only 12,000 miles away. Other smaller moons may also be seen like Styx, Nix, Kerberos and Hydra as they continue on their orbit around the dwarf planets. If you had landed in the region known as Tombaugh Regio or the Heart, then there could be a possibility that you might not be alone. Underneath certain areas of the heart, some evidence suggests that Pluto may be hiding a subsurface slushy ice ocean. And if this is the case, and there is enough energy, then according to scientists, there could be a possibility of life existing there. Even if there isn't a subsurface ocean filled with alien creatures, Pluto is still an extremely interesting, mysterious place that is highly popular amongst the people of Earth, making it the undisputed king of the Kuiper Belt. Basi mtazamaji umepata kujionea mwenyewe jinsi ambavyo Pluto ilivyo, mandhari yake yalivyo na bila shaka umeweza kuangalia na kutana bahi iwapo inaweza kusupport e, inaweza kusupport human life ama hapana manake yote umeweza kuyapata pata kupitia kwa clip hiyo ambayo ime, imeonyesha wazi jinsi ambavyo hiyo sayari ndogo sana ya Pluto vile ilivyo na kuna evidence mingi tu kuonyesha kwamba huenda pale miaka milioni kadhaa zilizopita huenda kulikuwa na hali ya uhai kule na sasa sijui ilifika wakati gani ndipo saa hiyo planet ikakaa kukaa na mna hivyo vile ilivyo manake vile ilivyo ni kwamba haiwezi ka support e, human life ama kitu chochote cha uhai hiyo ni Pluto sasa baada ya wanasanza hao basi kukamilisha kupiga picha hizo waliweza kurejea tena katika the international space station wakapata kupokelewa vizuri vile walivyopokelewa mara ya kwanza na Hatimaye ikakuwa ni safari kupanga safari ya kurudi back to earth na back to earth wakirudi duniani basi wanapitia mwelekeo mmoja tu penyezo ni moja na ni katika taifa la Kazakhstan kule Urusi iliyokuwa usovieti ya zamani basi chombo ni hicho mtazamaji hii clip 3 basi chombo ni hicho kinajiachilia kutoka the international space station manake wamefika pale wamepokelewa na sasa tunaonyeshwa jinsi marejeleo yao ardhini yalivyokuwa hebu tuzidi kusikiza mwenzetu akitueleza jinsi ambavyo e, wamepata kurejea na kufika ardhini na walipata kufika salama ama kulitokea hitilafu yoyote lakini vile ninavyoona ni kwamba safari haina tashishi hata kidogo inaendelea vizuri hebu tumsikize mwenzetu akizidi kutueleza mengi kuhusu marejeo ama return back to earth on your screen visual confirmation what a gorgeous shot uh, dragon has undocked from the international space station and we are beginning the departure series of four departure burns starting with zero, zero, one, two, three. Uh, we have confirmation that departure burn zero has been completed Haya basi mtazamaji marejeo yamekuwa mazuri wamepata kurejea salama wa Salmin na wakaleta 
picha mingi sana video mingi na vile vile utafiti mbalimbali ambao walipata kule katika the ISS ama International Space Station na vile vile sayari zingine wakipita kuelekea Pluto walipita sayari karibu saba hivi ndipo sasa uchunguzi ambao walifanya tathmini yote ambayo walifanya itaweza kujulikana baadaye baada ya hao kuwasilisha ripoti yao kirasmi kwa maafisa wakuu wa John F Kennedy Space Center kituo cha National Aeronautical Space Agency ama NASA cha Florida Marekani. Control. Uh, we always like to talk about how in Mission Control over in Houston, that's where they actually fly the space station. That's where they control everything from the cameras and the communication to even the thermostat on board the space station. If it's too hot for the crew, they talk to the ground and they're the ones who can turn the AC up. But uh, so it's actually somebody at a console right now who's controlling those cameras, sending commands just to move all the pan tilt focus everything else they're doing it from a console on earth while the thing is flying 250 statue miles over the earth on the other side of the planet like dan mentioned before uh we're going really fast right now um we're at about 17 and a half thousand miles per hour so everything is moving very quickly the need to readjust the cameras very frequently is inherent due to the high velocities that we're dealing with and so this is a view from that WB-57 airplane. You were looking at dragons streaking across the sky on its re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere, aiming for a splashdown in just a little while from now. The Dragon spacecraft continuing to descend. It's now subsonic, so already starting to slow down thanks to the error braking, basically slamming into that Earth's atmosphere, causes a lot of friction and allows the vehicle to eventually reach its terminal velocity, basically. Uh, and then those parachutes are gonna kick in. So there you have visual confirmation of the deployment of our drogue parachutes. This is the first of two parachute deployments. So those drogue chutes do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately going to pull out the four main parachutes responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that splashing. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. further decelerating the Dragon vehicle down to the Atlantic Ocean. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. now in recovery. That splashdown came right on time, 5.45 a.m. Pacific, 8.45 a.m. over on the East Coast. The teams that have been ready and waiting, they were staged just a few nautical miles away. They're gonna start moving in now. You can see those two fast approach boats already speeding their way towards the capsule. Like we said, we are treating this demonstration mission um, with the recovery operations as if there were actual astronauts on board. Uh, and of course, before we were able, would be able to open the hatch, we would have to make sure that the spacecraft's cabin pressure is equalized with the outside environment before doing so. Uh, so once Dragon is 
seated and you can hear some cheers behind me uh, as the remaining folks that we have here on the SpaceX team outside of Mission Control uh, are cheering with the placement of Dragon into the nest there as you can see. Tazamaji wapo unaswala ambalo ungependa tupate kuangazia basi tumo jumbe kwa nambari fupi ya 40353 na vile vile unaweza ukatupata kupitia kutoa maoni yako kupitia kwa page zetu za Facebook ambayo ni Tandao TV Kenya, Twitter at Tandao TV Kenya, Instagram Tandao TV Kenya na vile vile eh, YouTube ambayo inafuatwa kote duniani ni Tandao TV Kenya. Matangazo yetu unaweza yapata kokote uliko duniani na upate kutuelezea unatupata kwa njia gani. Manake yote inafanyika hivyo kupitia kwa mtandao wa YouTube ambao ni tunajikana kama Tandao TV Kenya. Wewe ni kusubscribe, kulike, kufollow na kuweza kupata matangazo haya popote uliko duniani. Peji zetu za Facebook vile vile na Twitter unaweza kusubscribe, ukafollow, kulike ili upate usipitwe na chochote wakati tunavyowaletea makala mzuri haya kama ya dunia tatu na makala mengine yote muhimu ni kufuata hizo page kusubscribe kulike kufollow ambapo utakuwa unamakinika wakati taarifa muhimu zitakavyokuwa zikitolewa kwa niaba ya mhariri wa makala haya Bilha Wafula jina langu ni Robert Wanyonyi na haya ni makala ya dunia ya tatu na makala ya dunia ya tatu mtazamaji Ya taendelea. Makala ya dunia ya tatu na Robert Wanyonyi.